Leader, the Optimus Prime type character. So let's look at his guns. He's got the Eon Blaster, which is the gun you're going to want to use most of the time. The game calls it an SMG, but it's pretty good at long range as well. It's got an incredibly high rate of fire, so it eats ammo up really fast. So that's something you're going to have to worry about when you're using it, is if you run out of ammo. Uh, think of the Eon Blaster as kind of uh, a machine gun that's like a slightly weaker version of the Scrap, well, actually a much weaker version of the Scrap Maker X-12, but I think it's still a lot better than the Neuron Assault Rifle. Uh, I'm not too sure about that, but it's a it's a pretty decent gun. This is gonna be you're gonna want this to be your primary because the other guns that the uh, leader gets are kind of weird. He gets the Energon Battle Pistol, which is a kind of weak little pistol gun there. The little pew pew gun. He gets a Magma Frag Launcher, which is kind of cool, I guess. You shoot sticky grenades, and then you can choose when to detonate them. The grenades come out in sort of an arc, like you're shooting noob tubes or something. But the actual power level of the of this gun is really kind of weak unless you can actually get a direct hit with it. So yeah, the, it says 9 damage here, but the area of effect damage is uh, pretty nerfed. And then they have the Fusion Canyon down there, which I use my secondary personally. Uh, it shoots these little laser beams. It looks kind of like a rocket launcher, but the lasers it shoots are kind of slow. It's got a small clip. It's got kind of a slow rate of fire. And it's really hard to aim against moving targets. I'd suggest using it like, ro like how you'd use a rocket launcher in the... Uh, in the old school Unreal Tournament games, as this is the same engine as those games, I'd suggest shooting, I don't know, at their feet or at a wall behind them or something like that. Uh, anyways, abilities. So, the leader gets Warcry, which makes everybody in a radius get an attack and defense bonus for a period of time, as well as you. Very powerful, I wouldn't suggest leaving home without it. Barrier deploys an Energon Shield Barrier that your teammates can't shoot through, but they can destroy it over time. This is really good if uh, you and the enemy team go into a shootout from long range. You can take advantage of a barrier if you don't have any cover around the map to make use of. You can just make your own... Moleculon Bomb is a bomb that you shit out your ass, and it slows enemies you get near it, and it causes damage when it explodes. I use this whenever somebody ambushes me. I drop it and try to get the heck out of there. Um, I also use it alongside the Heat Seeking Mine, which I also like to drop and uh, escape enemy fire. And then you have Disruption, which forces enemies to change form and locks them in that form for a brief time. This is kind of cool, so like for instance, if you see a scientist, you can just point at him, disrupt him, force him to go into spaceship mode when he doesn't want to. Uh, the player uh, who, gets, who just got disrupted might get confused, he won't know what to do, and you'll be able to take him out in his moment of confusion. Uh, anyways, uh, bill upgrades, sorry. Rollout, alright, increases ram damage. Rally increases war cry damage. Duck and Cover causes residual damage to enemies near Moleculon Bomb. Uh, Warcry effects last longer. Adds damage over time to victims of the disruption. Damage and armor buff for Warcry increased. That's pretty cool. Rage. Yeah. Adds damage over time. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> then defensive upgrades. Reduces explosion damage, increases health energon shield barrier. That's the that's the one you make out of nowhere. Martyrdom, drop a thermo mine in inventory when killed. This only works if you did not use the thermo mine before dying. Chaos Master, disruption effects last longer. This is a good combo with that other ability before that makes disruption do damage over time. Uh, Eon Booster gives speed boost to teammates near the Moleculon Bomb, which is pretty cool because the Moleculon Bomb naturally slows down enemies near it. And Reserve Power Cells, ability to shoot for a brief time after being downed. So, Leader not just has Martyrdom, but he's got Last Stand. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Though I'd suggest not using abilities like Martyrdom and Reserve Power Cells because. Uh, you don't want to think about what you're going to do when you die. What you want to think about is not dying in the first place, because Martyrdom and Reserve Power Cells are not going to help you get your kill streaks. Alright, so moving on to the regular ones. Uh, weapon Stabilizer, yada yada. Seeker uh, increases the search radius for Thermo Mines, not the explosion radius like every other uh, grenades upgrade in the general upgrade section. 
So it'll fly farther to hitting a target, or it'll sense a target at a farther range. Blaster and flyer carry two extra clips of ammo. Decreases elder generation delay. Da -da -da -da. Carrying extra grenade. Reduces ability to charge time. This is especially really good for the leader because the leader really relies on his abilities, but heck, every other character in the game does, so who cares? Kill streaks. Kill streaks number three. Intercooler greatly decreases the cooldown time for ability use. This is amazing. This ability is a scout's best friend. And. Poke 2.0, what that is, is you pull out a Energon sword of some sort, and it's the only one-hit kill melee weapon in the game, though there's a, about a 30 second time limit on it, so use it wisely, as just using it in close quarter combat, rather than pulling it out as soon as you get it and running around trying to get a kill, like your Usain Bolt or something. And kill streak number 7, possibly the second most powerful 7th kill streak, Thermal Mine Respawner, this one is kind of ridiculous. Uh, for the next 15 seconds, you will drop one thermo mine per second. So run up to the enemy team and force them to all chase you. Just start walking backwards as mines pop out of your ass, and you will get a lot of kills. 